it's catfish time. Today, guys, I am going to do a Gamon Pella inspired look from hair, makeup, and dress, honey. So, as you see, as you see, as you see, if you want to see how I got about to do this look, then continue watching this video and don't forget to like, subscribe, do the things, okay? hey so i'm going to start with this method i saw it on youtube um i'm just gonna freeze my eyebrows and try to use a lighter color in this video i used um i use a brown eye pencil for this look i really really loved the turn out it looked so good at this moment um i just i was just wiping off the white residues that was left so that it could just be clean and then i started um doing the bra itself I use LA Girl Pro Concealer in Color Toffee to shape my eyebrows. Um, they are all new. Even the brushes that I'll be using in this video, they are all new. Um, they are called Menge, um, Menge brushes. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing the word right, the, the, this right, but the one that I'm using right now is an eyeshadow brush to just line um, my eyebrows. I took my 865 smash brush and started clearing out the illegal pro concealer into my eyelids so that I can prime them already for my eyeshadows. For my eyes, I decided to use my new eyeshadow palette that I got from Discam. It is 130 colors. I haven't tried them all. This is the only color that I tried. Oh, let me say, this is my first impression to using this palette. I'll show you guys how it looks um, when the video goes I'm using 851 eyeshadow brush to apply this purple color into my eyes and then let's see I decided to use this um, smudge brush again um, to put the kind of a yellow um, yellowish um, golden color into the top of my eye Gamma's eyeshadows had a little bit of purple. That's why I started off using purple and then trying to use a little bit of gold on top. And then one time went on, I started putting a little bit of black. So right now here, I'm trying to cut crease. Because um, when I look into her picture, she has like a golden kind of on the cut crease. So this is the look that I'm trying to achieve right now as I'm cutting the crease.
<laughs> I cannot cope with the fact that I was so 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 serious in this video okay so I decided to take this powder of mine that I got um, from a flea market and then um, I just put it on top of my LA Pro Girl concealer like you see it becomes a little bit easier for you to work with I'm using my magnetic eyeliner to just align. I decided not to do a dramatic look, not to do to draw a dramatic liner so that I cannot steal away from the look. Besides, Kamon Pella did not do any dramatic winged eyeliner. So that's the look that I was going for. Like you see, it's not that dramatic, it's just cool. Okay, so I took this eyeliner that I got from Discam 2 to just line my waterline. I always cry in this process. <laughs> I always cry. My so in this process, I didn't align it exactly in my waterline, but I just did it outside just to highlight it. And then I guess I started using my mascara. Did I? What did I? What, what am I doing? feels so good to finally use the right brushes for your makeup so i'm using my foundation 850 foundation brush um and as usual yearly london and in color md5 w I'm 100% in love with the coverage like can you guys see that I only took one base one base to cover my sins away for highlighter I'm using LA Girl Brow Concealer again honey 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 as you see I just love how it just um smudge in how it just works with me right you know i just love it to contour my nose and everything i'm using just be gorgeous foundation stick i got this foundation stick from jet sculpting is not cute at all it's not looking cute right now but trust me surgeries never look cute but at the end the end product darling you see what we're trying to do right now so here i'm just highlighting the parts where i want highlighted and just um decanning the parts that i want um to darken so that i can give myself that that uh what do we call it that structure to my to my face so i'm using the yardley london loose powder as always always darling so let's continue if you're still watching please please can you subscribe if you haven't already please and make sure that you like comment
kind of kind of sculpting myself to look like a mumpela here like get the game get the game honey <laughs> but it's got it's getting there right it's getting there Everything is going into place right now. It's looking all good, all glammed up, all matte. So I'm going to mattify it more by finishing everything by spraying the matte finish black opal spray. And then I start to line my lips with this brown eyeliner. The bigger, the better, honey. So that it comes pump. I'm gonna finish off with this three piece oil set um, from Also oh Pretty. I got them from Clicks Store. Hey guys, so I'm done and I wanna move to the hair, but it's gonna be a little ghetto ghetto because. <laughs> um, as you know that I moved from like one hotel to another like because of my work and it's in bed so I kind of forgot my wig cap I know right I kind of forgot my wig cap so I'm gonna just have to like install my wig without a wig cap and I don't I don't have a comb uh, yes I do have a wig brush but I don't have a comb so we just have to work with what we have right now and if you're still watching this video, please, can you just subscribe um, if you haven't already and um, make sure that you like the video, comment, tell me what you think about my new look, okay, and share, please, let's grow together. I'm going to use my 13 frontal wig and I'm going to be using this got to be glued glue, um, it's water resistant. Okay, I know it's a little bit ghetto, but I don't have an adapter here though, so that's why I went to my little kitchen. <laughs> And had to um, dry out the the glue so that it becomes so sticky and then I have to put the wick on while the glue is still sticky so while we are waiting for the glue to be sticky I'm gonna take my frontal wig um, it is quite old this is how it's looking uh, inside it is quite old I've had it I don't know five years it's been for five years and i got this for my aunt um she got this for me when i was doing my uh, my first fashion show that's where i'm going to be working mostly always forget the lashes all the time <laughs> oh my god why
now the main process began like i told you guys i'm gonna try to look like a mompella as much as possible so here i'm gonna do um two buns that she always do most of the time is either a one high bun or two little buns so today i'm just gonna do two buns like i told you guys i don't have a comb so i'm just gonna be using this wig brush to do everything it's a struggle right now it's a struggle here <laughs> but it's whatever right as long as the work is done just continue watching you'll see at the end what i really achieved <laughs> 